Hello, everyone, and welcome. Today, I'm very excited that you're joining us to talk about all the new updates to Sunlight Science. We have went through, because we did K last year, we have sort of a new um, philosophy that we're approaching science updates. And we were able to, our, our products team, I'm just here talking to you, our products team was able to update A through C for the 2021 season. So we're gonna talk all about why that happened and the philosophy around it. And then we're gonna show you some of the products. So, oh, and at the very end, stick around because there is going to be an experiment example. So first of all, I have with me Rhonda and Amber here, and I'm gonna let them do a little introduction um, their self. So Amber, welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm Amber, I've worked um, at Sunlight for almost, well, 18 years. Um, I've written product the whole time. Um, I've written grammar and language arts and have worked on science before in the past. And it's kind of been fun to loop back around and work science again. So um, yes, I have three kids. I have a nine-year-old, an almost seven-year-old and a three-year-old. Um, I'm homeschooling my nine-year-old this year and it's been so much fun. We, and then we love doing science together. That's one of our favorite things. Um, yeah, and uh, my my seven year old has Down syndrome, so we run the gamut with what we do here and it's and I love applying what I've learned as a mom to what I'm doing in, with curriculum. So absolutely. And vice versa, right? Like, yes. it's kind of, yeah. Yes. Hi, Rhonda. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Yeah, I'm Rhonda. I'm on the product development team as well. I've been with Sunlight for a, almost 15 years now. And um, yeah, I really loved also working with Amber and the whole product development team just to make everything um, beautiful and fun and engaging and good for you guys. Um, I also have two boys. Um, they are eight and five now. <laughs> and um, they're just so much fun to be around. And also we've been doing a lot of science experiments as well. So um, yeah, it's just been a really fun time. Very good. And I'm Stephanie Rose. I'm Sunlight's community manager. And I'm so grateful that you both are here to just talk about science. So let's get started. Um, why? Let's talk about why we went ahead and updated. I did mention we, we updated K or we created K yes, last year, but why did we decide to go through and update everything else? Well, I think we wanted a new approach with the experiments. That's kind of where it started. Um, we, we've loved the engaging little piece of like, here's a little bit of life and science and here's how you can experience it at home. Um, but we knew it never really tied to what they were reading during the week. And that's always been kind of a little, oh, why, why are we doing this? Have you ever been reading about animals and now we're doing you know, a balloon inflating? So we wanted to reconnect those two things so that when you're reading your books and during the week and you get to experiment day, your experiment has something to do with what you've been reading about. So that was kind of the first thing. Um, we also wanted to update our science videos. Um, just the technology has changed completely in the last several years since we did those initially. And so in order to update those, why we just kind of seize the opportunity to make new experiments that really tied to the curriculum. Yeah, we also wanted to go through each of the books and just make sure that they were the best books that we could find on the subject, that they really um, had great illustrations, really explained things well. And we just wanted to make sure that they were the right books um, for that age group and what we were studying. So we've taken a hint from the um, national science standards and we've used that in what we've done, but we've really built on it and made it so much bigger and more robust and, and really made it sunlight. Um, we've uh, given it the same literature rich um, feel that our other programs have. So that's really cool that we can do that with science. Absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about that STEM um, integration, the real focus on that? Yes, that's one of my favorite new pieces, I think. Um, the part of the NGSS standard focuses on engineering design, and it's really more of a thought process than just these are the things you need to know, like teach topically. It's a thought process. How do engineers think? What is their process they go through as they're defining a problem and coming up with materials to use in a solution? And then how do you test that solution? Is it a good solution? I don't know, let's figure this out. And then once you have a solution, is it the best solution or could you make that better? And so we have experiments in every level that challenge your kids to walk through that process and become engineers themselves. 
So that's really fun. And that's in addition to just the typical um, scientific method based science experiments where you have a problem and a hypothesis and then you work through a set of procedures. So there's kind of two components where the kids follow instructions to study science, but then they also take the reins themselves and lead themselves through what they wanna learn in science. So it's really exciting. Yeah, I really like how that builds on the kids' natural curiosity of just why things are in the world. Like, or how does this work? I wanna take it apart and see. And what if I do this to it? What if I do that to it? And so it kind of just builds on that curiosity they have and just uses it and kind of like focuses it on a certain problem or a certain area and just gives them an opportunity and materials and all of those great things to explore that. We really think that that's, um, those are the skills that kids will need when they go to college and in the workforce or just being a person in the world of figuring it out yourself and trying it and seeing how it works and learning things, that, that lifelong learner. So we really wanna develop that in our kids and um, just give them a place to play and create and see things. So that's really cool we get to do that with these new experiments. Yep. And the, the materials we provide, like, you know, if you're a mom who's like, I don't want to do science, I don't know what to do, don't worry, we've got you covered. Like everything we have, you just sit down and read it and you all of the instruction is there. Um, you don't have to know anything about anything because it's all written in there for you. So you just walk through the instructions and you're going to have a great experience with your kids. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about what is being updated in A through C and maybe what's included? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I did bring some of the books home and um, some of them are old favorites. So some of the ones that we've seen before, oh, it might be backwards. Um, you know, the um, Magic School Bus books are just so fun with kids and they love to um, go along with Miss Frizzle and her adventures. This is Science A. Um, and we have some of the books from the other ones too. So I'll just show a couple of the favorites. We always have a biography in each level as well. So you learn about a scientist and what they're doing, um, how they came to their discoveries, how they messed up, you know, the mistakes that they made and how they got to where they are. So that's really cool to see that they can be um, a scientist as well. This is still a fun one that's um, there. We've added a lot of new, um, new books, Hooray for Inventors. So um, a lot of inventors and how things were made. These are so neat. Um, this is kind of, you know, comic book-ish, um, but it's got so many facts and story, like the story is in there. Um, really fun for kids to see. Here's a, a flip the flap engineering. So this one's kind of interactive where you can um, pull out, <laughs> uh, they get to see, all the different pieces about engineering. So this kind of builds on that engineering design uh, part. A talks a lot about uh, sounds and light as well. So we have these two new titles that go through that. And we're using our favorite um, children's encyclopedia that's also in HBLA. So you'll use that in both programs as well. Got a little sticker on there, but um, that's a good one too. So, um, Stephanie, did you bring home some of the Science B and C books? I do have a few. I have Ooh. just a few. Um, I think that ooh, I think that these are from B. I think so too. Some of the newer books from B. They, it still has some of the old favorites in it as well. Yeah, and then these are some from C. So. A favorite magic school bus and then... C includes oh yeah that one too C includes a, a biography about Nikola Tesla which I think is really kind of cool my husband loves Teslas and all of that history with that so I think your kids will get excited about that one too it's very timely I thought that was with the I was like this this word you guys know for the cars like it's a big buzzword now guess what there was a man behind it let's learn about him so yeah, it was a absolutely and then I have here behind me the K experiment book, but um, that will be available, right, for A, B, and C as well? Right. Yeah. Discover and Do will have the, will have the science experiment books for A, B, and C, and they'll have the supply kits to go as well. So it's the same format that we've done before with Sunlight. You have an experiment book. You have a supply kit. Your IG lays everything out for you. And it also has activity sheets to go with the reading that you're doing. So you can um, use that to 
kind of talk about what your student has read or you can um, have them do that on their own as independent work, but uh, same sunlight format as well. Yeah. Perfect. The same look and feel of sunlight. I loved it in the past for sunlight science. Same thing again, just new books, new like updated, fresh and um, new experiments. Absolutely. Does it also tie to the HBL? No, not exactly, because a lot of people tend to um, maybe do one science with multiple kids, and so they can pick the one that uh, matches the subjects they like the most. So they're somewhat independent, and they work really well for a range of ages and um, multiple kids at one time. So you can kind of combine them into one uh, science. How about a day in the life or a week in the life? Sure, I'll, I'll go through this because it's in my, in my week right now. Um, so it's just the same. Um, the first three days, if you're doing the five day or a four day program, you're reading delicious books and you get to go through with all those lovely titles we just went through. Um, and then you have the activities to support what you just read. And then in the IG, we've also included lots of notes, just talking about any issues that might've come up in your reading that you might want to discuss further or, um, and then we also provide do together activities in the IG. So if you just are having so much fun in science, there's some cute little short things to either go and research or try on your own independent of the weekly experiment. And then on day four is your experiment day. So you don't have reading generally on that day. You just get to work through this experiment and you have a supply kit with much, a lot of the things you need. Anything that's not in there is easily found around your house. Um, and then you can work through the experiment together. And actually my son's in fourth grade, so often I just send him off on his way to go do his experiment. And he has a grand old time for an hour in the kitchen. So, <laughs> and I get some work done, but um, yes. And then the fifth day is um, separate from the week. And it's, we schedule really high interest books on the fifth day um, about inventions or engineering or just really cool, fun stuff that's just a light, easy day to read. And that's just a day for reading and enjoying science. So it's a really fun week. Um, your, probably your heavy liftings in the beginning of the week. And then we always find the experiment day super fun. So he looks forward to that too. Absolutely. Is there any advice you can give a mom or dad who maybe would be inclined to want to skip science? you'll miss so much <laughs> we have so much fun um yeah i we do science like i find science to do even when it's not school happening and I, we pull the neighborhood kids in to do science because it's so much more interesting than what's going on on my pad that day and they love coming over to my house and doing science with us so we get a little messy and it's a little bit of cleanup um one other trick i've done this year um i went through the supplies early in the year. And even though I have the kit, it's not everything I need. So I went through the supplies and just pulled anything out that I can live without. And it's all just in a bin. And so getting ready for that experiment takes no time. And it's that helps me get going too. So just being ready. I mean, there's little things you can do just to be ready. And when you're ready, it's no, no challenge. Just jump into the experiment. Yeah, I know a lot of our customers too like to um maybe have somebody else do the experiment. So maybe that's something that dad can pick up because it doesn't require him to have read all of the, the rest of the materials with your students. So maybe dad can do that on Saturdays or grandpa or grandma or the neighbor or something like that. So it's a fun thing to do with somebody else. You can also save a couple of your experiments to do all together, to kind of have your one messy day and kind of your fun interactive day. So that kind of works too. If it just seems so overwhelming to do it every, every week, you can save it for um, one big day too. Absolutely, I've heard that too, that a lot of customers will save and have like a big science day or a few days and like save everything for, and that works too, you know? Yeah, totally... yeah. I think once you start doing it, you'll realize just how much fun it is and how it engages your kids and they're so fascinated and you get to witness those aha moments of when they figure something out. I mean, I, that's always what has brought me joy as a teacher is they got it. <laughs> you can yes. just do that too. It's a great thing to connect back to because I know once I've done something with my kids and then we encounter it somewhere, we're like, oh, don't you remember? We did this together and we talked about this. So it's, it's a great thing that you can just kind of connect 
to other areas of life or they can share it with somebody too. So it's, it's just a cool experience to have with your kids. Yeah, absolutely. So A is available for order today. Um, and B and C will be available very soon. We still are working on some of the components of those, but I want you to first, if you haven't downloaded, I downloaded and printed, but if you haven't downloaded and printed your catalog, or if you haven't received one in the mail, go to sunlight.com slash catalog and grab one of those. It'll help you understand what is in each one of these um, levels, as well as, you know, our all subjects and our history Bible literature packages. Um, and then we have a sample experiment for you. So please continue watching and you will be able to see what one of these experiments might look like. Thank you, Amber and Rhonda for joining me and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye everyone. All right, we're gonna walk through one of our experiments. Um, this is just kind of a demo. I, they will come in a book. This is just printed at home um, so I can show you guys. Um, every experiment starts with a really fascinating question. I'm, I'm sure all of your children have seen rainbows, but why? What causes them? Let's find out today. Um, each experiment starts with a little overview of the key concepts you're gonna teach. Um, just so you have an idea of where you're headed and the kinds of things your, your students are gonna learn through this experiment. The next page has a list of all the materials you need separated out by things we provide in our kit and things that you will probably need to find around your house. Anything we ask you to provide is easily found. Um, you shouldn't have a problem coming up with them. So that's what makes it really easy. For example, this experiment just needs the things you see here. I mean, I pulled all of these things out 10 minutes ago. So it's really easy to find around your house. Then when you're ready to teach, um, you can just jump in and start reading. Each experiment starts out with an introduction and I can just read it to my children. It introduces the topic and it makes them a little bit curious about what you're gonna do together. And then you talk about a prediction. Scientists like to make predictions because it gives them direction about where they're going with their experiment. So this prediction is starting to teach kids. They can do that too and make just some ideas about what we're gonna do today with all this stuff. Then, I just jump in to the procedures and I can just read these and there's great illustrations about what I need to do and what comes next. Um, this one starts out where they shine a light at some white paper and notice, look, the light is white. Why is that? That's interesting. And then they're gonna make a rainbow on the floor and the procedures are talking me through this. All I have to do is have this glass of water and I'm gonna overfill it. So I get that little bubble of water at the top. And the, the curriculum told me to put it on a plate so when it spills, I don't have a mess to clean up. Thank you, thank you. And then we scooch it over to the edge of the table or counter. And then we shine our flashlight right into the glass. And there are diagrams in what I'm reading to show me so I know how to do this. And if you look down the floor, I've made a rainbow inside which is great because what if there's not a rainbow today outside? It doesn't matter, it's inside and it's fine. So then the next thing um, the procedures are telling me to do is have my kids draw this. So they, um, on the experiment sheet, there's room to draw it. And I can continue on and ask them some questions about what they're, they just watched and what they're doing and what they're drawing, just to help them keep thinking along the lines of where we're going. And then this next thing it's suggesting to do as we talk about light in a mirror. And if I hold a mirror out in front of myself, I can see myself in the mirror, as long as I hold it straight. If I turn the mirror, I see a different part of the room. So why is that happening? And you're, I can keep reading and it explains very clearly that light bounces and light bounces in a straight line. So if the mirror is at an angle, you'll see a different part of the room. And this is called a reflection. All of this is explained. And then it talks about how this applies. So wait, what's happening? Light's going in the same, in, this, in a straight line, but the rainbow's um, showing up down here on the floor and not straight out in front. Let's dig into this a little further. So we just keep reading. And then we get to the part where I need to explain what a rainbow is. I, as a mom, don't really remember why there's a rainbow. That's okay, I can just read it. It's all here with great diagrams and illustrations. 
and I just keep reading to my children and we get to the end and there's some extra fun stuff to explore. And when we've had our fun, there's some questions at the very end to help us really solidify what we've learned together with this experiment. They all tie back into those key concepts so you can make sure with the answers we provide that your kids understood what you just taught. And then there's this nice little wrap up paragraph here that helps bring it all together. And then if you're really having fun, we <laughs> offer some go further activities of other things you can do that tie into what you just learned about rainbows. So really easy to teach, really simple material. I don't really have to plan anything. I can just sit down and start reading and we go through this really cool science experiment and just brought science to life for your kids.